morning. Oh, I'll show you this. Yeah, I don't want to walk out here and get my feet is all wet. That stuff going here in just a little bit. They put the charger out with it, so I went ahead and took the battery in and got it all charged up. Trimmer. Oh, that's an electrical thing? Huh. No, it takes a battery, don't it? Does it? Yeah. There it goes. Huh, that's nifty. It's electric or battery. How come that one's not like that? Anyway, kind of neat, huh? And I get the charger in the house, like I said. What's this guy's name? Larry Jr.? Little Larry? Um, did I even show you that last night? We pretty much switched it from that wagon to this way. To this wagon. Uh, yeah. I only put 25 bucks on my four rolls of fence. I only put twenty dollars in gas, and I figure I didn't even use all that. So, at twenty-five, we're already making money. And then I got these things posted, and uh, the trimmer and the blower, as as well. Somebody said I seen your whirly doodle was gone. Yeah, I scrapped it, and I cut down the rubber tree. Let's see if we can get Vandal to come over here and do something with our gutters. Apparently that's his line of work now. But that's cool. Because you gotta have a way to make a living, man. And unless you have a 53 foot scooter, it's hard to make a living doing the scrap stuff. Trust me, I'm constantly getting in and out of my wagon doing three point turns and shit. My food are soggy, I'm going back inside. I mean, they got overspray everywhere, didn't they? Can you see that? The roof. It's on fire. I'm just kidding. But it appears if it may have been at one point in time. Uh, anyway, you think it had something up there? I think it had something up there. There's no holes or puncture wounds or anything, though. Just a bad spot on the paint. And you can see where they've, like tried to touch it up with a little spray there but I think our issue is going to be right through here um, I think that seals just getting old as you can see over here there's some like chips and nicks and missing spots man I got my muddy shoes all over there anyway uh, I think that's where the issue is going to lie Although, if I'd have known this when we was up at the pull and pay, pulling this piece and that other piece, I would have grabbed one of these because you can obviously see it's got some splits and some cracks in it here. And you can see the moisture in it. So, uh, yeah. We need a, a third brake light lens and a tube of silicone. Aquarium sealant works very well, if you did not know. But, I mean, you can look at the inside. There's no stains anywhere. There's no, like, ponding in the interior light. There's no stains up front, even. So, and the headliner's real tight. There's no sags or droops or anything. Um,
there's a whopper in my window. We should probably get that out. These hundred degree days. That's not good for your whoppers. Oh yeah, don't go down in there, buddy. Anyway, yeah, so that's the story with the leaky leaky. Um, I was going to take this stuff out to the yard this morning, but then I was like, man, what's the hurry? It'll still be sitting here tomorrow, and the yard will still be there, so let's do it tomorrow. That might be enough to be saleable. Let's see. What do you know? It was enough to be saleable. You want to watch it sail? Did we sail it? I think we sailed it. Fence sail complete. So I did some of that today. I noticed one of my fan blades was falling off, so. Pardon me, I'm eating a pretzel. Or trying and it was caving in all the weight from that shit it's far from perfect but uh, it's a little better I think anyway if you're keeping track we got rid of the Ryobi set those uh, have a heart traps well I had a big one and then I had a little one that I had out in the knackle. I just put it with the big one. Made a combo deal. Um, the two blue loungers. And uh, what else was it? The lounger. Oh, the, all the fencing. I caught it on tape. I think I got some clips of the Ryobi stuff working as well. Uh, I don't know. It's Monday. It's slow. You know how they go. didn't get out there to empty the wagon out today. It made a good little dent in the back. It's pretty crazy all that comes out of this. And then we cut a few things. That came with them sub pumps. It seems to work okay. And it says you can use it for car batteries and stuff. I thought about keeping it. May try to sail it. I don't know. I don't really have a good battery charger. Anyway. That was Monday. Alright. You wanna go scrapping? It appears we might have a little bit of weather moving in, but we have an enclosed wagon, so I don't think it'll do any harm. Uh, forward. It's 4.30, not quite 5 o'clock. I'll tell you a little insider secret here. Um, see the size of these houses? Single story, brick ranch, that sort of deal. Bungalow, whatever you call it. Cape Cod Willie. Um, uh, um, we start over here. Technically because this is where I get off the interstates on this side town here. But also, 
you know, it's a little bit earlier. By the time, if we start here, by the time we get over to where the houses get, you know, two and three stories and more, uh, a lot of those folks, they don't even get off work until five o'clock. I mentioned it's only 4.30, right? So in this type of single story dwelling type neighborhood, you have a lot better chance of retired individuals, guys with old bass boats with tarps sitting on them in their driveway that might have, you know, the odd 55 gallon drum full of scrappy bits they want to drag out to the curb one evening that sort of that sort of scenario you know so um they, i don't know that's just my line of thinking but i am a moron so take that all with a grain of salt um that's a bad place to leave your front rider turn willy bobber there um man we got us a roadblock here don't we um, are they going to let us through? Or are they going to let them back out? We'll let them back out. And then we'll get to doing what we got to do. Hopefully they'll let us get around. Um, but yeah, this is my line of thinking. What are they even doing? Just playing musical cars in the driveway or something? I don't know. Can I get back down? Are you going to let me get back down? Thank you. We get around here. Okay, yes. That is it. This is my line of thinking. See, like, these people, you have a lot better chance of them being home throughout the day and stuff and like I said the other places is a lot greater chance that maybe they're still at work and haven't made it home to set the garbage out for the evening or something I don't know anyway did you guys want to go scrapping it appears it's gonna try and rain on us but uh, it is what it is uh, and it is got some jello powder along that top window seam of the windshield so if we see any red dripping on the mirror here turning Bloody Mary style we'll know it's coming from the windshield and all I had was red. If I had another color, we would have tried the brake light as well. But anyway, forward. What's the condition of this thing? Wow, it's full of basketballs. Um, the little grabbers broke on that side. Eh, we'll leave it. I thought about it though, because those things sell really good. Look. Is anybody thirsty? We could stop and get you a cold drink from the vending machine. <laughs> you think I'm picking that up? You haven't been watching the show long enough. Anyway, let's go this way. Anyhow, the way I see it, why pick up the vending machine when we can just go around the corner and get the, the egg coil and the part of a furnace there. It's probably worth more anyhow. So. Let's go forward this way into the rain. Turn some lightage on. It's crazy. In the mirror, it's literally pouring down rain right where we just was. Here it comes. We're trying to stay ahead of it here, but it's moving quick. All right, it's it's here. I think maybe we keep turning the corner on it. Oh look, I see blue skies. Let's go that way. Hmm. Did we get out of it? What's that? Nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Why didn't they put something out? Should we go back and knock on their door and ask them? Maybe they got something good. They're just afraid to bring it out. I seen some lightning. You know what street this is? This is the, um, uh, well, not this one. Maybe it's this one or the next one. Somewhere right through here. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes some weather. Um, somewhere right through here, though, is that, uh, the slot machine guy, the guy said he had all kinds of slot machines and he said he'd set one out a week or something like that or something. And then he never did. <laughs> that guy. 
Anyway, it's raining. We're picking. That ain't stopping us. Or scooping or whatever you want to call it. What do you got? Nothing? Okay. Look, it already quit raining. I don't know. This weather's crazy, ain't it? So, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get back home. We gotta see if we can put some stuff in the wagon first, though. Um, we should have brought we should have brought some of the pool noodles and any scuba gear that we had with us. It appears. Um, but hey, man, we don't control the weather now, do we? Um. Anyway, drive time. That may be all you get today. I don't know. Frankly, I don't want to get out. <laughs> Woo! What's that? Wood cabinets? That's not worth getting struck by lightning over. They all said, get rid of your wood sideboards, Mr. Scrappity. Put big metal ones on there you can climb around on when it's lightning and thundering. can't even see the scoops. What's that? Tree branches. You guys want any tree branches? Man, we're fogging up. I got the air on. Shouldn't that kindly keep us from fogging up? Are you getting wet? I'm sorry, buddy. Hold on. Um, we need some adjustments here. We need a... Um, Feet and defrost. I'm turning the tablet off. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll keep riding around here and maybe I'll get out somewhere and maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Look, look, look. Double whammy. <laughs> Real time, real time double whammy. Get you some of that double whammy type action. <laughs> and it quit raining and the sun came back out. You couldn't ask for anything more. Look at that. It's like this never happened. Well, the rain that is. The double whammy definitely happened. a stinky one. What have you been washing? Dirty dish rags? Sorry, were you staring at the ground? What else is that over there? <coughs> Part of a treadmill? It would appear. Let's be quick, because we're blocking the driveway. Yeah, treadmill pieces. Oh, 
find the sweet spot. So much for the trying to hurry part. There we go. Stove's got the cord on it, or tail, whatever you want to call it. Uh, little string. So we don't do no sliding around. Here's some thunder. You think we got round two coming through? Hey, that rhymes. Okie dokie. What did we make there? 20 bucks, something like that. 22 dollars and change. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and they left some uh, chicken wings in the stove or something. Apparently it's appliance day. I did not know that. Uh, I think she'll fit in there. Do you think she'll fit in there? Truck's gonna be full. Sometimes those are brass. Remember that one time we were looking for a stove door? Good times, huh? Do you think she'll fit?
It's not really my first time loading a wagon. So I kind of, sort of, know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional yet. But I'm not quite sure where you get that degree from. I'm kind of thinking that's not really the sort of diploma you achieve. It's kind of just one you have for yourself. Keep her like that in case we gotta do some moving. Forward. What is that? It's part of a like sofa bed frame double recliner sort of a doodad. That's a hefty little one. Okay. Where are we going to put it? Let's find a spot. Shall we? Uh, why is that so tough to pull over there? Alrighty, you stay there then. Try this one. And I want to set this up. If we can remember how to tie a knot. Take this other loose end. Gotta tie up loose ends. Oh, it's the windshield leaking, if I didn't mention that. Forward. Huh. A ubiquitous corner piece. Never found one of those. I didn't know they make corner pieces. Apparently they do.
little bit on that side. There we go. Scoops. Uh, what's in the box? Paper. We don't want paper. Fold them up chair frame. Nothing special. Oh, those look like quality. Apparently they spent all their money on their house and couldn't afford a decent side table. What's that? That's one of them uh, instant water heaters, ain't it? Believe it or not, you know, it's the first one of those I've ever found. Anyway, that way. What's that? It's a trimmer. That's a little sign thingy. Um, I'll take these, I guess. They got metal stakes on them. Scoops. I'll throw it up on here. Why not? Something like that. We'll put a little string on it. You think we should put a little string on it? I'm going to say we might want to put a little string on it. Uh, let's wrap it around there.
Yeah, where do you think we should tie it to now? Uh, the spring looks nice and dangerous. Yes, let's tie it to the dangerous spring. Good enough. Okie dokie. Scoops. Look, you can see Mr. Scrappity's fence. Yeah, I cut a bunch of that stuff down off of it. If you don't see any clips of that, then, uh, that's me informing you. Hold on, I get you guys out. What do we got? What did we get? We got a. I think the only thing we might be able to sail is that husky trimmer. I think the rest of it's scrap. One of them uh, on demand water heaters, whatever you call them. And then, uh, oh, there's some decent scrap up there. A couple of aluminum copper rads. That's about it, man. Um, not the greatest Tuesday, but weight-wise, got a couple of bucks in the wagon. I don't know where we're going to put it unless we get in here and totally rearrange all this, which I really don't feel like doing. So um, we'll probably just take this out and then take that out or something. I don't know. Uh, yep. Okay. So that was Tuesday. I'm Mr. Scrappity. What you got here? Chewy nerds? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna steal an orange one. <laughs>